Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Woo, I finally moved in my home. Praise God, praise God. Um, I have a serious dust at the Lord. As a matter of fact, I'm a little out of breath, huh? I've been working. Woo, I forgot. I forgot how much energy it takes to move. Nevertheless, praise God. It is good to be up on here. It's been a minute. I haven't been able to get on. Um, praise God. Praise God. So praise God. Um, hallelujah to his name. I feel the power of God. I've been feeling the power of God all day. Uh, congratulations to those that were on the fast. The fast actually ended yesterday, the 21 day fast. I'm going to keep going because as you know, the conference is next um, month on the 20th. So I pray that I get to see you, meet you, greet you. It's not about a, a famous thing. It's about a brother and sister thing. And you're going to understand what I'm getting ready to say. Because as I was um, just doing stuff around here, God gave me a, a who is a powerful word. It's a powerful dust said the Lord. Um, so let me begin with it. It, it. it took me, it took me back. I was like, so I'm, I'm glad that I actually already started last year. I mean, this year, I'm already in 2020, huh? At least my spirit is. So let me go ahead and tell you what God said. It was so deep, you guys. Hallelujah to his name. God was saying, don't look, thus saith the Lord. Let me do it um, the right way. Thus saith the Lord. Don't look at Trump. Don't look at anything. God say 2020. Everybody got that right because, I mean, it's inevitable. 2020, vision, right? So everybody, like he told me, the vision of God. But this is the second part of that you see hallelujah he said this is it he said how can the church go for the outside without reparation of the inside he said the church must be in a repair state a repent state he said how is it that it's so easy for y'all to talk ugly to each other mistreat each other hallelujah he said the world ways then got into the church Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Y'all know it's true. Anytime, you, you know, even I'm reminded of King David. Let's go to scripture. I'm reminded of King David. Saul wanted to kill David. Do you understand what I'm saying? He wanted to kill David. And when David had the chance, when he was sleeping in that cave and his armor bearer said, hey, he's sleeping. You know what he did? He, he took his javelin. He took his sword he said, and he let him know. He went on the hill and he said, I could have killed you. However, because you are still the Lord's anointed, I don't have a right to touch you. I just say something. That man wanted to kill him. And he said, because you are the Lord's anointed. As a matter of fact, the young man that fell up on, on, on Saul, he came and he ran and he told David. And he said, I have killed Saul. He said, how is it that you wasn't afraid to touch the Lord's anointed? Hallelujah. Up in here. Y'all better stop playing with God and stop playing with people of God. That's why I shifted. I don't know if y'all noticed how I shifted last year, this year. I keep saying I, I, I'm already in 2020, whatever. I shifted because God was telling me, hold on, Deanna. Hold on. You're doing too much. I, I, I'm going to use me as example because, you know, some of y'all too brand new. I said, yes, Lord. He said, say, thus said the Lord, but I don't need your opinion. I don't need you to go too far. Hallelujah. He said, because that's still your brother and your sister in the Lord. How is it? And I'm going here. I'm going here. How is it that it's that easy for you to put your mouth on a man or woman of God? Hallelujah. Whether, whether, whether they are anointed or not. Because here's the deal. If God allowed them to be in that position, even if they're not called, God going to deal with them. God deal with his people, thus said the Lord. He said, I deal with my people. Hallelujah, as I've always dealt with them. He said, first of all, you know why the outside is not getting fixed? He said, because we haven't fixed the inside of the church. Too much jealousy, too much competition, too, too much everybody want to be the most famous. All oh, y'all know it's true, even on this Facebook. And let me tell you something. And I almost got caught up in it. I thank God I didn't. They'll try to do like, y'all remember? Oh, I'm going to go back some. Y'all remember when Paula White and Prophetess Juanita Bynum and everybody used to say that she number one and uh, Paula number two and Paula number one and she number two. Y'all still doing that stuff. Who has the most followers? Who has this? I don't care who you are. Let me tell you how Apostle Deanna Dixon wrote, which is protocol. If you are anointed, God bless you. I respect you. If you're not anointed, I'm still going to respect you. I may not roll with you because I don't want that spirit in my spirit. I don't want to be tainted. Come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, we are called to pray for those, hallelujah, that are supposed to be our enemies. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you what God said up in here. How is it? How is it? I, and I'm just being real. Let me tell y'all something. 
you have no right to put your mouth on anybody unless it's a dust said the Lord. And then it has to do, you better have permission from God and you better do it in order. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you. Hallelujah. God said, we're going to see a lot of things happen. He said, but we can't see the outside. Everybody revive a revival. He said, and the inside dying. Hallelujah to his name. He said, the insides need CPR. Come on, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know what CPR stands for? Calling people to respect each other again. Go back to the biblical basis. You may not have, you might not like somebody. Come on, everybody don't like everybody. But you have to respect the people of God, the men of God, the women of God. Well, you got these clicks and these tricks. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it. This one don't want to fool with that one, and that one don't want to fool with that one, and that one to put the word on that one, and that one to say this. And then you wonder why God doing what he's doing in your life or in your personal life. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it. Let me tell you something. I had to find out that, and, and, and people, unfortunately, have had to realize that with me. And I, again, I'm not glorifying myself. I'm a servant. But I do notice this, and I don't know, I don't know if y'all have been paying attention, but every time somebody come against me, something bad happened to me. And I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to scare nobody. I'm trying to act because guess what? The same thing for you. You can't just come against a child of God because you feel like it. Or better yet, let me tell you how it really is, because you ain't got your little feelings hurt. Because two to one, I'm gonna tell you why people don't like me, because I'm gonna tell you the truth. And when I find out you're dirty, I'm gonna tell you you're dirty to your face. That's what be happening. In case y'all don't know why I fall out with people, that's why. Because I'm bold enough to tell them, maybe in their own house, you ain't right, you are a liar. Yeah, I said it, like I said it. But I still love you, but you're wrong. Because let me tell you something. I'd rather tell you the truth now than to wake up and we all in judgment day. And then God asked me, Deanna, why didn't you say anything? Well, God, I didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings because I wanted them to like me. I wanted them to send them some little hearts. I can care of you less if you send up a heart or not. Y'all notice I don't never ask y'all that? Because I don't ever want to get too grand to where I start with this worldly stuff. Y'all press like now. Y'all press share. Y'all, if y'all want to share it, share it. If you don't, you don't. Come on, somebody. Because one thing I've learned, and I'm still learning about the power of the Holy Ghost, it's going to get to who it need to get to. Who need to see it, going to see it. Who need to hear it, going to hear it. Who receive it, going to receive it. Because that's the power of the Holy Ghost. We ain't got that much power. We're not all that without the Holy Ghost. Ah, hallelujah. Let me tell you what else God said. All this protocol, all this structure, he said, tear it down. Let the Holy Ghost do the work. Y'all got them five services, and I'm going to tell you right now, he calls them fast food churches. Somebody write that in the comments. Now, I'm telling you to write that in the comments. He said he called them fast food churches. He said, because people in and they out. He said the Holy Ghost don't have time to convict them, to change them, to rearrange them, to make them repent in the house of God. That's why they go in one way and come out the same. Hallelujah. He said, because y'all got y'all protocol eight eight o'clock y'all worshiping eight thirty y'all reading y'all bulletins nine o'clock y'all preaching nine thirty y'all teaching ten o'clock y'all reaching eleven o'clock you do a sermon twelve o'clock you might do a call or maybe not because most of you're not doing altar calls no more and then you go on and the next people coming in in and out the enemy that came in the church and got the church against each other. And God said, divided, we cannot stand. That's why we're not seeing the miracle signs and wonders. And I'm not talking about that, that stuff because I told y'all about power and presence. I know how to talk powerful, but it means nothing if the presence is not with it. Because if you don't feel the presence of God, then that means that's me. Hallelujah. And one thing about the, the spirit of a man, because God says the, the, the gift comes without repentance. So you're going to know how to teach, preach. That's why even the fake ones can do it. Oh, come on, somebody. The Bible says that the enemy, he what transforms himself so they can transform themselves at any time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. But I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. God said we have to change this. In 2020, he said he wants us to evangelize some more. He said people dying out there too much because mo y'all worrying about a bag. Oh, I'm going to go here. He said everybody want to be famous. You want to be a star instead of a servant. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. He said stop doing that. He said because the blood is required. Hallelujah. 
We're supposed to be out there evangelizing. When we see something wrong, we're supposed to stand up. We're supposed to speak up. Most of y'all scared, God said, because you 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 wanna you wanna be like King Saul, the people, the people, the people. Oh, come on, somebody. You wanna know why King Saul was chosen? Because the people wanted a king. God was already king. He said, but because of you want peace, that's why it didn't last. Because guess what? The people chose Saul, and guess what? The people destroyed Saul. He allowed the people to destroy him. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. And that's why King David came. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost up in here. And then I'm reminded of when Nathan, oh, come on, somebody. When Nathan went to Jesse's house, he, he, he said, God said, go anoint the next king of Israel. Now, hold on. He was always king. Think about it. Think about it. Because God already knew that Saul was going to destroy Saul. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God will let you destroy yourself. Don't you understand that in this hour, you ain't got to do nothing that they are destroying themselves. They are exposing themselves. Hallelujah. They are disposed themselves in this hour. God said, you ain't got to do nothing. But anyway, let me finish the story. So anyway, let me tell you how the anointing works. I don't care how, how glamorous you think you are or how this you think you are. If it's truly the anointing of God, he will not pour it on you unless you already called. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere. So let me tell you what um, Jesse did. So Jesse, he got all his, his prominent sons. And, and, and the Bible says that the oil would not even pour. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So even the anointing know what's fake and what's real. Hallelujah. And so Nathan say, is there, I'm sorry, Samuel, I'm sorry, Samuel. He say, is there another one? Is there another one? He said, you, you talking about David? David's just a little sheep boy. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The ones that you think is just a little something, something, that's the ones God anointed. The ones that y'all think are prominent and all that, hallelujah, they ain't anointed anyway. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's why we in trouble. God said, we got to bring it back to basics. Learn to love each other. Learn to respect each other. You ain't got to like nobody, but learn to respect. Keep your mouth off God's people, God say. God say, help people and pray for people in this hour. People feel so alone. That's why, oh, I got to go here. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, that's why the enemy is using mental health in this hour, suicide in this hour to destroy people because we're not, the church is not using the power of God. You see, the power is okay, but it must be matched with his presence because that's who really do it. It is the anointing of God. It is the anointing of God that heals and delivers and severs everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell y'all a story what happened today before I get up off of here. Hallelujah. I was going to the Bank of America and it was closed. And I don't know. I, I, I looked at the time, but just let you know, it was a setup from God. He set me up. So I'm coming out the bank and I'm looking at the security guard and I said, oh, I don't know what I was thinking because I looked dead at the time before I came here and, and inside closed at four o'clock. Let me tell you. So I said, oh, well, whatever. I'll have to come tomorrow. And I don't know, but the conversation, uh, it kind of shifted. So I said, well, anyway, let me go home anyway. He said, you're married? I said, no, I'm not married. Uh, and so somehow he said, come here. And I already knew what he was trying to you know what I'm but I, I, I went, I went over there. Uh, why a pretty woman like you? And he cursed. He said, "Why your bling, 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 not married?" And I said, first of all, I'm gonna rebuke you." I said, second of all, I'm a woman of God." Third of all, let me let, let me teach you. Oh, I start talking to him about how God's supposed to pick your husband and your wife. I said, and that's what's wrong with the world and inside the church. Y'all picking who fine, who got a good credit score, who like who, who oh y'all, and that's why you're having problems. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, because that stuff will only lasts for so long. But when God chooses, hallelujah, that's ordained and it's sustained. That's why they say a three, four day car cannot be easily broken. Because when God is in the midst of it, when God chose it, hallelujah, there will be no sorrow, says the Lord. James 1. 19, 20. He says, when I bless you, I add no sorrow. Long story short, do you know what happened? A pastor ended up coming out of the um, bank. And so he heard the testimony because that was his brother. He said, my brother, pastor, that he is. So we all talking and his brother gave me a high five. He said, that's right. Tell him. And do you know what the security guard said? I'm not saying his name, so I'm sure he don't mind. He said, I repent. I was trying to, and this for grown folk. I'm going to say what he said. I'm doing it for a reason. He said, I was trying to get your booty. I'm sorry. Do you understand how the anointing made that man repent right in front of my face? I said, no worries. I said, but God wanted you to hear something and see something today. And so his pastor, his brother pastor said, let me pray for you. He said, because what you said openly and publicly, because there was a lot of people around, but you know, I don't care, right? He said, let me pray for you. He said, because you're going to get attacked. 
I said, too late. That's already happening. He said, but let me pray for you. So we, we locked hands right there in the middle of the parking lot. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Cars blowing, so we moving because, you know, we, we in the spirit. We don't even care if we get hit, but we ain't going to get hit because the Holy Ghost presence, right? So he prayed for me, and I mean, I felt the power of God. And I said, God, you just set me up. And so he said, well, you know, I'm going to be speaking on January the 1st coming. And I felt the power of God because very few people, I felt the power of God. And I'm just being real. Sorry. So I said all that to say, God knew the bank was closing at four. I'm coming to the bank at four. I should have known. I always know I don't ever do that. God wanted to minister to that young man. Hallelujah. And so I didn't, I didn't bash him. I didn't, I say, but now you know. And he said, well, what do you mean ordained? I say, we don't know how to choose. I said, because be honest with you, we choose in the flesh who find, who make us feel good. Don't don't play with me up in here. Don't play with me. Let's be real about this thing. Who has a good credit score? Who, who the world says, okay, who our family says, okay. And that person cannot gird you in the spirit. Hallelujah. I found that out when I got married in 2012. One day I just looked at him and he's, look, I don't, I don't hate anybody. I, 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 I'm just talking about it. I looked at him one day and I was like, Deanna, what did you do? And I'm just being real. I said, Deanna, what did you do? This man cannot gird you. He don't even know who you are. Hallelujah. See, Deanna, they like apostle. They can't understand. Huh? I just say something. I'm one and the same. So if they can't, if they like Deanna and can't accept apostle, there's no way we can be unit. Y'all ain't ready for me. They love you, but they can't handle your calling. Hallelujah. Now y'all understand what didn't happen. It's not that they didn't love you. It's not that y'all wasn't attracted to each other. He couldn't gird you and vice versa. She couldn't gird you. And now, because anytime it's, it's an end of anything, it's a death. Anytime you get a divorce, anytime you split up from it, that, that, that's a form of death. That's why it feels so heartbroken and, and your spirit is broken and you feel lonely and la, 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 and all this stuff, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Now, now God has to rebuild you empty you from them soul ties so he can bless you with your real ordained husband or wife. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I just said something. But to be honest with you, and I got to say this, and I don't think I've ever said this part. I really don't think so. 27 years old. I never forget I was 27. Y'all ain't going to believe it. And when I caught hold to that, I said, Lord, I should have been listening. I was 27 years old, and I never forget what God said. I had been as God for a husband. He said, Deanna, until you do and find out who you are, that would not happen. Well, I'm 51, and I finally realized, and I finally have accepted, okay, it's your way, I get it, I finally get it, I get it. It took me this long, cause you know, y'all know we do what we wanna do, why don't y'all stop playing? We be loving God, but we be doing what we wanna do at the same time, until God allow us to hit our head, and then we got the nerve to cry, at God, why you let that happen? And God have to tell you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You didn't even consult me. I'm just being real. I don't even know why I'm going on this. Y'all, somebody pulling on me because my subject was, you know, thus said the Lord, but this is still God's stuff. So somebody pulling on me, whoever you are, and, and I feel you. I'm going to say your name because I, I hear you. This is a woman on here because you in the, you in the middle. My sister, God said he's already told you what to do. Now you have to ask God to give you the strength to do what you're supposed to do, my sister. It's not going to be easy. It's never easy because I'm going to leave you with this. This is for you. you. You was pulling on me. Straight, straight up, you was pulling on me because you wanted an answer, and God gave you an answer through this. i never forget when I had to make that decision. This was this what it was. God said, Deanna, if you stay with him, you'll never be who I've called you to be. I'll still bless y'all because God wants to see us prosper. Don't get it twisted. He said, but you'll never be who I called you to be. And to be honest with you, I just wouldn't do that for anybody in this world. Because whatever God called me to be, if I don't answer it, that means the rest can't get blessed. Hallelujah. I'm not that selfish. I just said something. I just said something. Because some of us are selfish. I'm going to do me. And not understanding that what's inside of you is not even for you. It's for the people that have been called to you. Hallelujah. That you've been supposed to teach and reach and touch and anoint and appoint and lay hands on and deliver. Hallelujah. Tell me what does said the Lord. Feel the power of God up in here. Woo! So I just pray we get it together. Because 2020, a lot of things getting ready to happen. Persecution coming. And God said we would not be able to stand like an apostle, prophet, minister, teacher, evangelist. He said we're supposed to bring back the fivefold. 
Oh, pastors, you don't want the prophets in the church because you know you out of order. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. But God said the fivefold must come back to the church, thus said the Lord. That's why the church is not operating in power. It's not your church. That's not our church. Y'all stop acting like that's your church. That's why people can't be delivered. Hallelujah. Most of y'all are cult like. Don't go to nobody else's church. Don't tie with nobody else. Don't look at nobody else. Don't say nothing. God says a cult. Hallelujah. How dare you build upon another man's foundation, said God. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We're supposed to bring people to Jesus Christ. Come on, follow me. But only follow me as I follow him. Hallelujah. And most people are not following him. I'm just telling you what God said. It, it, it didn't gotten to be an a, a entertainment thing. Who's the best? If God comes to dead tomorrow, we'll all be worming, swarming around. Yes, all of us. Count the cost, said the Lord. Return to him with a whole heart. Love your brother. He said, and this commandment I leave you to love one another. You ain't got to be ugly. If you don't want to feel, feel like fooling with nobody, leave them alone. You ain't got to get on Facebook. You ain't got to throw them under the bus. The people stop doing that because that stuff come right back into your life or into your children's life. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. Read your Bible. It's in the Bible. Hallelujah. <sighs> I've been doing it for months, you know, speaking differently, talking differently, loving differently. Hallelujah. We, we got to go back to basics and tell me what God said. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.